What's going on? Z Man the Tech here. I want to thank you for tuning in to Snowy Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. And as you can see, we are taking a look at Project Starship X, which is released not too long ago on the uh, Nintendo Switch. Um, and I actually covered the original Project Starship as well as, uh, I want to say it was called Red Death, um, if I'm not mistaken, made by the same developer. So uh, I'll have those basically. Uh, link towards the end of the video if you want to check those out too. But as of right now, Project Starship X is what we're dealing with. And I am actually, since this is a shmup, I'm actually using my uh, arcade stick. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, if only I can get this thing in uh, uh, Tate mode, but actually the game it pretty much runs in... I don't know if it has a Tate mode, uh, but it, it runs pretty much standard uh, aspect ratio. So. Uh, we can check settings. Let's see video. Or we have night filter. Let's see what that looks like. Oh. And then we have TV effects disabled. Okay. So when you enable them, it gives it kind of like a scan line kind of look to it. Very retro. I kind of like that actually. But uh, for the sake of just recording this, I'm going to go ahead and play it uh, as it were. Uh, but yeah, basically, let's see here, we have game, friction after X enabled, I'm not sure what that is, hopefully we'll figure it out as we play, data, you can delete data, uh, you can adjust the volumes as needed, and we got language preferences, so, uh, we have leaderboard, guide, settings, let's go ahead and go into one player, and this is basically your standard arcade shmup. Uh, but with, it's got like a lot of uh, like comedy and, and references and things like that within it uh, from existing franchises, which is pretty cool. So, uh, Garrett Zapola is, I want to say, the main character. Um, I want to say he's existed in the previous two games. Gwen Rosie. John Johnson. John Johnson. <laughs> really extreme uh, intro there for him. Sophie Jefferson. Poor thing smacks into the screen. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, opponent. So I don't know if there if there's any stat differences. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with uh, Sophie just because I like that uh <laughs> that whole breaking the fourth wall, clap, slamming into the screen kind of thing there. Right. Oh, I have to unlock her apparently. Okay. And I'll go with Garrett. Okay. But yeah. Um, you know, pretty straightforward. I want to say I heard this one is kind of uh, procedurally generated. I'm not sure if the other games were as well. Um, but yeah. Uh, they play. This one plays a lot more closely to Red Death. Um Let's see here. All right, so get your standard movements here. Uh, the B button is fire, and then you have this really cool dash mechanic that allows you to pretty much evade damage that you would otherwise take, and it has a bit of a cooldown on it, which is pretty cool. So those these. Enemies, I find it's easier just to kind of let them run their course and because uh, and, they don't die very easily. So, okay, and I noticed one thing too. So, with the firing, if you hold it, it kind of slows your it slows your movement down. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's just for like a precision type thing. I don't think it actually charges the beam. Oops. Got hit there. So apologies. I, I'm probably going to play like crap. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I've played a, a shmup on my arcade stick. But uh, yeah, so I find... Inst oh gosh. So instead of holding the fire button, which I'm for shmups, I'm kind of used to tapping it anyway from the older shmups. Um, yeah, I would I would suggest tapping it. That way, you still have full momentum uh, and can fire freely. So.
so. Yeah, so if you dash those like you like it tells you to, it'll kind of raise your shield. Ooh, overload, okay. Now we can just fire off. You can still be hit though, so you gotta be careful. Okay. So for those enemies, yeah, when you see him daze like that, dash into him. And it's like a finishing kind of thing. Okay, you get these dash sequences like that. Keep some momentum going. <laughs> Zombie Hitler and his giant eyeball. Yeah, just really random stuff, you know, that you'll come to notice. Uh, whether it be references oh. from existing franchises and all that, so. Ah, I, got, I knew I was going to get hit. I was like, dang. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you got to pay attention to those little warning things. Because that's literally where the, the next line of fire is going to go. So. Alright, so you got to fight this for him. There's going to be a lot more of these beams you're going to have to dodge. Uh, straight laser beams that can only be pretty much... Uh, oh, you can only pretty much dodge him with your dash move there. Oh, jeez, got one hit left, for the shield at least, so. There you go, get some shield back. Stage clear, baby, let's go. <laughs> I took some hits though, yeah, like I said, thankfully you have a hit point system in this game, because it, it gets pretty difficult as most smups do, so. Stage two. I'm just gonna see as, you know, try to get as far as I can, and then, you know, we'll leave it at that. It'll be a short video. Just kinda wanted to showcase this version of the game. Ah, really? Showcase this version of the game, see what differences they have. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, I will definitely, it was a pipe. <laughs> There's a pipe like uh, Mario Brothers. Okay, cool. Um, and then you get on these segments where you're like a crawler, which is pretty cool. I don't know if you can destroy those green crawlers or aliens, whatever they are. But yeah, but like I said, uh, the other two games uh, in the series, I will definitely link uh, link them after the video. You can check them out, see the differences and things like that. But the original Project Starship was an amazing um, and successful, you know, indie schmuck. But it just did really well uh, on Steam before it made its way to console. Oh! Oh my gosh. Well, these things are not messing around. You can't kill those as fast as other enemies either, so for them, I try to just dodge. Yeah, I'm noticing with these, they're kind of having a similar situation. Virus. What does that do? Oh! Let's go in. Okay, it beamed us right to a boss. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Green Mushroom. And as with all smups, it's it's a matter of uh, understanding the patterns that the bosses attack in. That way you can dodge them effectively. And, uh, yeah. The first phase is usually always pretty easy. Oh, shoot. I'm on a crawler now. That's some of my hit points back, too. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. There we go. Boom, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right. 
Thanks for life. So sorry for all that button pressing you're probably hearing. <laughs> Again, on the arcade stick, so. I just find it more comfortable playing these sorts of games, you know, just even back to the days of like 1942 from Capcom, you know, and stuff like that. Oh, another boss. Maybe that boss I was at wasn't actually the boss for this stage. This guy, this creature looks, definitely looks a lot larger. Exudes the, uh, oh crap. Exudes the term boss. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Think I won? Okay, well, hold on. Oh no. <laughs> what the heck? So I need to buy something? That's odd. Uh, let's go shields up. Oh, okay, you just have to have enough coins for it. So I could probably get all these. No, I don't, I don't have enough. I have 35 left. Okay, so there's a timer. So that's cool. It's like a boss that has like a shot built into him. <laughs> it's really strange. He's like a Cthulhu or something. Oh! Oh! Maybe because I defeated the other boss, I didn't have to fight this one. And I, could, and I just... I literally just got to choose items from his shot. That's dope. <laughs> So I want to say you you have to definitely fight him. Um, when you get to him. So maybe that triggered a different event. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how do I do this? Okay. I lose track of the moments where I'm actually the crawler. sitting here trying to dash and I'm jumping because I'm the crawler. So pay attention to that. Yes. I'll take it. I guess it's telling me to mash the button really fast. Yeah, I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> Oof. I almost missed that jump. Back to the crawler again. I can't tell the sequences. It's a little awkward. Oh no. <laughs> okay, yeah. It goes offline automatically when you uh, when you get to the uh, edge. Because obviously there's no more ground to trek on. Look, like you got you like got stunned there for a second. So this is good. We have the ability to stun it. Unless I'm supposed to be hitting that green thing back there when he's stunned. Because he's not... Nah. I can't tell if it's taking damage that way. Oh. Oh, okay, I was supposed to press it. <laughs> like, what the heck? Took me a second. Had a dumb moment there. Okay, this is definitely the farthest I've gotten, so pretty sweet. Yeah, I hate when you get graded in some games, you know, it's like, it's like if you're not good at the game, you know, you don't want to get, get it beaten into your head and like, oh yeah, you suck. <laughs> I don't know, not a big fan of that, but you know, it is what it is. For those with competitive natures and folks that like to overachieve, you know, they'll appreciate that, I guess.
Yeah, ah, dang. Gotta pay attention to those, uh... Specialty enemies like this. Oh, no! I thought it wanted me to, like, dash at it or something. Okay, there we go. It does. <laughs> I don't know. I knew I had enough dash time frame to, to get around it, but I just... I froze up for some reason. I was like, yeah, that looks pretty intense. There, it's pretty cool. Oh, taking a lot of damage on this one. This might be the end of my run, I tell you. Oh, yeah, it's getting pretty hard. <laughs> No hits, so this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Big trimorph. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm gaining some ground. Yes. see something here uh i think that was my phone talking to me or something okay can't get those so, so maybe that isn't a boss maybe he just comes after each uh boss fight that's cool yeah i think my phone thought I was talking to it, so apologies for that <laughs> in the background there. I was like, what the heck? Alright, so I'm getting a lot farther than I expected, so this is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna uh, basically, at the end of this run, we'll, we'll call it quits. Oh, it grabs you, that's cool. I'll say this is pretty unique though. That's why I like it. Uh, the original game had like so much flair. I mean, it definitely is carried over into this game. Um, like there was so m there was so much sprite work going on, but yet it was so smooth uh, in frame rate and everything. And you know, the same goes for this. I haven't really experienced any dips or anything like that, but. Yeah, the, you know, everything as far as... Oops. Everything as far as... You know, mechanics and everything like that feel very solid. Okay, over there. And it is difficult, but it seems fair, you know? Oh! Mega laser. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Again. I won't, I won't write it in stone that I, I might die, but. Did I die? Oh no, I'm still alive. Okay. So this last time I showed myself up and actually beat the boss. But. That's it. That is it. <laughs> From the dusty rash. Oh, I have an extra uh, life. Okay. Very cool. Ow. 
And I got like full health too, so this is pretty cool. So I'm guessing those uh, those mushrooms you collect are like one-ups in Mario Brothers. So that's pretty cool. But either way, I think after this, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a video. So, Like, I doubt there's a continue kind of a situation because it's arcade-esque. Oh, goodness. How do you get around that? Jeez. Oh, stay in the middle. I thought he was going to hurt me, so... It looks like the hitbox is only on the, the, the face. Come on. Ah. I keep forgetting about my dash here. Ah. Oh. Doing terrible right now. I must have lost most of my power. -ups. I still got the laser though. Or maybe I didn't. Do it. Uh. You do it. No, he gained life back. It's another phase. <laughs> It's like those clutch moments I do better in for some reason. It's like, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. I mean, I'm so close now, I, I definitely don't want to die. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why does it look like that? Oh, okay. Stage clear. Whew. Barely. Barely. Get good. <laughs> Alright. So once it tells me what stage it is, I know where I left off. But, you know, as we know, well, arcade, most arcade games don't have like a continue. It's not over. Let's see. Come on. And yeah, if you hear anything in the background, that is the uh, washing machine. Apologies for that noise. Corrupted shuttle. Sun unlocked. Tank module. Space bowling. First moon unlocked. Riley unlocked. Mad events even more. New patterns. Jeez. Okay, I love unlocks. There we go. So I guess that was the end. Or is this is as far as I could get. But that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I didn't expect to, <laughs> to do a playthrough. But arcade games are relatively short, so it makes sense. But yeah, um, I'll leave it at that, you know. Uh, you have a good verdict uh, as far as if it's for you, you know. Uh, but yeah, like I said, you can see the other versions of the uh, previous games. Or previous games uh, will be... You'll, you'll see them pop up pretty much towards the end of the video there. You can click on them if you like. But yeah, Project Starship X, uh, it gets relatively challenging, but it's fair, you know? Um, definitely a, a, a bite-sized shmup that I can recommend, uh, as I am a huge uh, fan and player of shmups. So, 
Um, yeah. If you uh, like what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Remember to keep it locked to Snowy Games for all of your indie game, third-party game, tech review coverage, and sometimes Nintendo and retro games thrown in the mix. Thanks. Take care.